A long, long time ago, in a galaxy that's precisely this one, the scientists of Earth agreed to banish Pluto to the realm of the dwarf planets. You've probably heard the explanation as to why already, so I'll just summarize with the definitions of planet and dwarf planet that these scientists came up with. A dwarf planet is an object revolving around a star that is large enough for its gravity to have made it reach hydrostatic equilibrium, but has not cleared its orbit neighborhood of other material. A planet is this, but having successfully cleared its orbit of other material. And Pluto was judged not to have qualified for planethood, and was demoted to a dwarf planet. And the story, as is told, usually ends here. But from here, we shall continue. Welcome to Two Lambda Plus Black. I am Heirua. Seven months before the IAU downgraded Pluto, NASA launched a probe named New Horizons intended for the exploration of Pluto. It took New Horizons nine and a half years to make it to Pluto, which may seem like a long time, but remember, Pluto is really far out. Consider for comparison that Voyager 2 took 12 years to make it to Neptune. New Horizons was, in fact, the fastest probe ever launched from Earth, so nine and a half years was in fact the express journey. In any case, New Horizons delivered for us detailed images of the surfaces of Pluto and Charon, images of two new moons of Pluto, information on Pluto's atmosphere, and, of all things, an update on Pluto's size. Why is this last item interesting? Because for quite a while, Pluto's size kept getting revised downwards, but this revision was a revision upwards. Our last estimate for Pluto's size turned out to be an underestimate. And why is this significant? Because if you recall, a big motivating force for formalizing a new definition of planet that would ditch Pluto from the club was the discovery of Eris, a trans-Neptunian object larger than Pluto. And this upward correction of Pluto's size meant that Pluto was actually larger than our current estimate for Eris's size. By volume, at least. Eris is still expected to be larger by mass. And this means, in at least one respect, the fact that motivated Pluto's reclassification turned out to be false. So, should Pluto regain planethood? Probably still not. The motivating fact turned out to be false, but looking back at the big picture, it seems clear Pluto has much more in common with the likes of Eris and Haumea than the objects classified as planets. But it's still poetic how this turned out. If New Horizons was sentient, it would have left on its journey during one of the last moments scientists would have told it Pluto was a planet, and when it reached Pluto, it would have confirmed Pluto's size to have actually been large enough to not peak the effort to reclassify Pluto. And who knows, maybe we will eventually readjust our estimate of Eris' size upwards such that Pluto being smaller than Eris by volume would have been true after all. But Eris is much further out than even Pluto. Our next finer estimate may take quite a while. Or maybe we'll end up deciding that our new definition of planet is so arbitrary that it makes planet an unhelpful concept. Thanks for watching, and thanks especially to my Patreon patrons. Remember to love the night.